In this video, we're going to be looking at Conundrum's windows and how they work. But first, a fun fact about where Conundrum was invented in New Zealand. And did you know that there are five sheep per person in New Zealand, making it the highest ratio in the world? That means there's 26 million sheep and 5 million people. Anyway, let's get started at the windows. First of all, on the bottom taskbar here, you can open or close your windows. Here we've got the Blockly coding window as well as the Python window you can open. Now, we can also open the 3D window where we can see our little Kaibot robot. Now, with all these windows, you're able to drag them around, maximize them so you can get a, a better view, minimize them, and, um, you know, you've got full control. You can also customize your environment. So here we're going to go to theme and change a different background. Find something that you like, click on avatars, and choose your emoji. So here I've got the owl. I'm going to change the color to, let's say, this light blue. And let's find a cool hat for him. So here I've changed it. So we've got owl engineer. And owl engineer becomes my player name and my player color. So here you can see on the top of the taskbar on this 3D window, it's called owl engineer. And that's our Kaibot. Now, another thing that you can do with these windows is every single window has like these little arrow pop-outs. And you can open those up, change the view. Here you can see our top-down view and Kaibot's moving around. We've also got a first-person view. So we can turn around, we can see the different objects and drive around in the maze. If you click this little hat icon, it shows you the object IDs. And with these object IDs, you can use them in your code. Another thing is you, if you click this little reset icon, that resets us back to the start position of the game. Now, if you've got a physical robot paired with Conundrum, obviously clicking that won't work because you'll need to move your physical robot. So I hope you enjoyed this little video about Conundrum's UI and its windows. Uh, until next time, catch you later.